Hello friends, today we are going to discuss part 2 of primitive reflexes in children, how they are elicited, if they persist beyond a certain age, what may go wrong and what activities can help to integrate them. You can click the card to check the first part of this video where we have discussed Palmer reflex, plantar reflex, Moro's reflex and rooting reflex. The first reflex of the day is called as spinal gallant reflex related to the spine of course and it helps in development of balance coordination and because balance is present in the inner ear auditory processing also it appears as early as 20 weeks of gestation because it helps in the baby passing through the birthing canal and this reflex remains till three or nine months of age beyond which it integrates how is it elicited if you stroke one side of the spine of the child, you will observe that the hip opens up and even facilitates urination. So this is really important for things like rolling, crawling, standing of the child. So what can go wrong if it persists beyond 9 months of age? All these areas will get delayed in the child, rolling, crawling, standing. Apart from that, you will observe that the child is very fidgety, fidgety with poor concentration which may be perceived in the form of ADHD. Also, the child might have difficulty with memory. As I mentioned before, concentration. The child will not have very good posture and you can even observe spinal deformities like scoliosis in the child. Apart from this, Touch-based sensitivity might be present in the child because it's touching the skin of the sp around the spine. So touch sensitivity related to clothes and their textures and auditory hypersensitivity, movement-based hypersensitivity could be there. So you can imagine these kids would hate going to school. In order to integrate the spinal gallant reflex, make your child wear loose clothing so that textures don't bother them. Also, sitting on a chair which has minimal to no support will help them concentrate better. Apart from that, introduce touch-based activities like messy play activities to reduce hypersensitivity. So, finger paints, brushes, colors, where they can wear gloves initially and later on the gloves can be removed once they are comfortable. Pressure-based activities like pushing, pulling, carrying, even doing pressure massages with the child is going to help them. Apart from that, do some postural exercises like ball sit-ups or passing ball from one side to the other or rolling on the floor and trying to gather toys from different places or taking toys from one side and putting them on the other side in the box. Similarly, making snow angels can also help. The next reflex is Lando's reflex, which is also related to posture. It appears at around three months of age and remains till one year. If you try to hold your child horizontally in the air with tummy down, which is called as prone position, their head will extend, back will be arched, and they will even extend their hips. So you're turning your child into an aeroplane. Postural development. And if it persists beyond one year, you can imagine there will be motor development related issues. So all the physical milestones might get delayed. Apart from that, posture difficulties. You might observe your child walking on their toes and being very clumsy. Their muscle tone can be affected. They will find it difficult to sit upright. Imagine having a backache for the whole day. That's how it is for them. Not backache, but difficult to maintain the posture. Also, their organization skills might be affected because the prefrontal cortex might be involved. So you will find that they are very clumsy in the school and even playing on the playground things like swings, slides might be difficult for them. In order to integrate this reflex, apart from the postural things that we discussed in Spinal Gallant, one very good exercise can help. Asking two kids to join their feet lie down and trying to throw the ball towards each other so they have to get up each time in order to integrate and bring the body towards flexion. The next reflex is tonic labyrinthine reflex or TLR. This reflex has its basis with the vestibular system. It helps in the development of head and neck control, 
मसल टोन बैलेंस इवन द प्रोप्राइसेप्शन और जॉइंट पोजिशन सेंस हाउ टू एलिसिट इट इफ यू मूव योर चाइल्ड हेड फॉरवर्ड द शोल्डर्स विल प्रोट्रैक्ट और मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड द हिप्स विल ऑल्सो फ्लैक्स बट इफ यू ट्राई टू मूव द हेड बैकवर्ड द शोल्डर्स विल रीट्रैक्ट एंड द हिप्स विल एक्सटेंड विच इज कॉल्ड एज फॉरवर्ड टी एल आर एंड बैकवर्ड टी एल आर द फॉरवर्ड टी एल आर इज मोर कॉमन और रिमेन्स मोर कॉमनली टिल थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ एज ऑल्सो बट द बैकवर्ड वन ओनली रिमेन्स टिल थ्री टू फोर मंथस ऑफ एज If this reflex persists beyond the required age you might find that your child has difficulty moving through space so they might appear clumsy fearing heights having low endurance getting tired easily having eye hand coordination problems and in order to overcome their balance they might be using a w sitting posture also spatial awareness might be affected because of which visual tracking is affected eye hand coordination problems personal space may not be judged properly so social emotional challenges might be there judging distances like catching a ball or throwing a ball towards a target they might not be good with their organization skills and a very good test if your child is older is if you ask your child to close their eyes and move their head forward or backward you might observe some kind of unsteadiness In order to integrate this reflex apart from eye hand coordination activities or balance activities or spatial awareness activities three main exercises help a lot which are called as dead bug exercise with head arms and legs up superman exercise with ball passes and the meat ball exercise